extra spicy one. <laughs> he probably thinks being Annie's boyfriend automatically makes him funny by association. Ooh, this is like, <laughs> oh. And I want to apologize to my beautiful super fans that sent me weapons. Robbie has, she's forced me to get rid of almost all of my weapons. Hi guys, welcome to Annie Wood. What an amazing episode, so much fun. We did a lot of AI ex explorations. We, um, we did a lot of things that we aren't gonna be able to share openly on this episode. You're gonna have to go to the Patreon to check it out. Um, so go to Annie or patreon.com slash Annie Letterman to check all the good stuff out. We've been doing our Marie Kondo uh, episodes with Robbie Hoffman, which we also had a little update later on for you. It's been really fun. We had a blast. We got Ariana up in this B, and we just had a great time. I am on the road as always. I am so excited to come perform for you. It's my favorite thing in the whole world. Um, I'll be in Eugene, Oregon, doing one night at the Olsen Run Comedy Club with the great Andy Andrist. Then we're hopping over. I'm hopping over to Tacoma, Washington for September 13th and 14th. Then September 17th is the next Annie Wood and Friends. And then October 10th, I do one night in Naples, Florida. And then I head over to Tampa, Florida for the 11th and 12th, one of my favorites. Then uh, October 18th and 19th, I'll be in Bloomington, Minnesota, at the House of Comedy at my favorite place, the Mall of America. Then uh, my one nighter in Chicago was moved to November. Sorry, guys. It got moved to November 3rd. It's now a Sunday. There was a problem with I'm doing I'm also doing comedy on state in um, Madison, Wisconsin. I don't know if the tickets have gone on sale yet, but those I'm going to be doing those the first and second of November. And then they had to reroute Chicago to go with that. So that's on the third at the Den Theater. And we were selling a lot of tickets. So I'm so sorry about that. Don't blame me. Blame comedy on state. Um, so switch your tickets over to that Sunday. It'll be more fun anyway, because if we're going to be chilling on a Sunday night, um, then you can find me at Laugh Boston for the 22nd and 23rd of November. And that's all we have up on the books right now, but many more dates are being added. So go to annieletterman.com slash shows. Come see me. Welcome to Annie Wood. Hi, welcome to Annie Wood episode 94. Five. Oh, she finally did it uh, on her own without any help. Episode 95. We're here uh, <clears throat> at the Annie Wood Estates. Excited to tell you all about a nice vacation we had. Oh. A beautiful time we had in the gorgeous Pocono Woods. Oh. We got Arianda on the, Arianda. Arianda. We got Arianda on the keys. <laughs> we got Ariana on the, on the controls. We got Randy humping in the pizza toy she gave him. Oh my god, he's going to town on the pizza. He gets so horny when the <laughs> camera goes on. We got Todd in his favorite shirt. I'm back, baby. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of fun stuff in store for us today. Um, a lot of things I want to share. A lot of updates. A lot of updates. A lot of down dates. We've decided to break up. Tell them why, Todd. I don't know. I don't know this bit. Oh, you think it's a bit? I don't know this bit. What's the bit? Why do you think I would break up with you right now? What do you think happened in the past? What do you think you did over the vacation that would make me break up with you? Was it the long walks alone at night, herping? Long walks alone at this night. This man's trying to bring herp into the relationship, and I don't like it one bit. Do you guys know what herping is? It's when a, <laughs> a virgin, usually it's a man who's never... Uh, had sex before goes into the woods and tries to find a snake sounds pretty phallic doesn't it he went searching and searching and what did you find well nothing there ain't nothing out there went to the woods and ain't nothing out there <laughs> people go where is all the kids be like where's uncle todd where's uncle todd we got to say good night and we're like uh you just see a flashlight down by the lake and todd's just looking he's moving rocks around i wanted to find a copperhead i, I wanted to find a copperhead <laughs> What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? What is wrong with it? There's nothing wrong with it. It's just kind of embarrassing. And that's why we're breaking up? Yeah, because you didn't find a copperhead. Because you're so willing to just leave. My children, my children before they go to bed is the cutest time. They're tired. They're goofy. I don't want to see no kids before they go to bed. <laughs> okay. 
Why? That's just me, I guess. <laughs> we had fun. We played hide and seek. Did you play hide and seek at all? No, I didn't play hide and seek. I played hide and seek and I learned a valuable lesson because I was crushing. I was like, oh my God, I'm beating all these kids. I'm so good at hide and seek. And I'm so much bigger than them. They're little babies. They're munchkins. They're little peanuts. And I was like, how am I better at this game than them? I'm like hiding in the closet and hiding under the table. I'm squishing behind doors. I'm like, how am I dominating? Their little tiny brains are just so inferior compared to my grown adult brain. And then I realized they had just lost interest in the game and were playing video games and just completely abandoned their auntie. So she was underneath the table. I was underneath the table for a while. Her genius hiding spot is underneath the table. Listen, I'm big. Where else was I going to hide? I hid behind doors. There was nowhere really to hide. My nephew Scotty is literally, he's this size. He's 14 years old. He's this size. How, how old is he? I don't know. Why are you asking me? He's like <laughs> six. I think he's six. And he's about, he's pint size. He's a cute little baby. He's he fits little inside the cup. Size. He's so cute. Is that new or old? This is both new and old. Oh. This was from yesterday. This was a, an, <laughs> I, let me explain it. This is a cold brew from yesterday that I didn't finish. I put it into the freezer or into the fridge. <laughs> I had it. I got it late. I got it late. This was before they closed. They closed at four. I got it around 3.15. Okay. When I went to buy myself flowers. There's smudges all over it. There's smudge Let marks and smish live. marks. Okay. <laughs> so I get it. I don't finish it. It was like up to here. I put it. There are. There's makeup smudges. <laughs> lipstick. This is from today. <laughs> did, everyone have a library wait, did everyone have a librarian in like elementary school that had like drank coffee and had like red lipstick on the coffee? A librarian? That's just, I always associate that. Did everyone have like kind of like a gross old lady sipping away, still wearing lipstick? By the way, lipstick to your elementary school job? <laughs> Weak. Trying to stay in the male gaze while you're teaching kids to sound out words? It's a weak move. My librarian though at my Quaker school was a bull lesbian. She was a bull lesbian. Oh my Shaved goodness. head. What was her name? Jennifer. Last name? I don't know her last name, but she was dating Christine, who is the art teacher. And Christine looked like Michael Moore. <laughs> okay. And Christine was my best teacher, my best elementary school teacher, because she helped me with my art. But they would get in fights and there would, it would be like, I think they would, they would moon cycle. They would start cycling together and there would just be like, you'd feel rage inside the Quaker school. That's the only time we felt violence inside the school. The, the earth would shake. They'd be in these huge lesbian fights. Oh my god. And one time we were watching, they were both white. And one time we were watching, um, I think it was Eyes on the Prize. It was something, it was something about, I think, busing kids during the civil rights movement. So they're like busting the black kids in and Jennifer with her hairy legs and her little moccasins and her Birkenstock she was wearing. She got really mad. We were up on the fourth floor and there were all these stairs and she don't look at me like this is a boring story. This is a good story. She picked up the <laughs> desk. It was a desk connected to chair to a chair. She picked it up. She was so mad at what was happening. By the way, all the kids in my class were black. She, me and her and like one other guy were white. Picks it up and she throws the desk down the stairs. She was so angry. And we were all just like, is the main teacher coming back? She was the teacher's aide. We were very oh scared. My, my dad, it's my dad's favorite story. And she Max was, was mad sick that about day. The civil rights. Yeah. She was mad at how the children were treated. That's crazy. So usually there's some joy when I tell that story. What's going on? <laughs> Why are we off? Why are we off? Is it because of the breakup? I am taking the advice of the comments and letting you speak. Do the comments say that? Yes, and you tell me that. I read a comment. No, I yelled at I. I read a comment that said, I don't like the way Annie speaks to Todd. I was like, do I block this person? The way I speak to Todd. Well. Our love language is my credit card well, in his wallet. Do you well, understand? Maybe change your tune. I'm not changing change my tune. Change that tune Why you're singing. Why don't you change your toed and I'll change my tune? What toed? You know what toed you got with your little backwards hat thinking you're better I'm than me? I'm listening. I am thinking being an engaging player i'm not taking over the show like people say nobody people, says that a lot of people are saying <laughs> nobody says that a lot of people saying that i take over the show a lot and that i should let you flourish so that's what i'm doing who says that are you on a reddit? lot of people are you on reddit 
Yes, I'm on Reddit. I'm on all, all platforms. I'm pretty sure every time I've checked my Reddit, it's just pictures of like where you can see my vagina a little. Or like my or a nip slip. It's just that's my Reddit is not hasn't reached the level of not them trying to make it into an OnlyFans. Well, have we finished talking about the uh, vacation? No, because something this is also leads into a a Robbie Marie Kondo update. <laughs> so there was a call I had to leave Robbie. I had to give Robbie before we left for vacation. Where I started panicking. I, I called her. I go, Robbie. We were on things. We were getting rid of things. We are getting rid of things. Which was a big one. And Annie didn't think it was going to be a big one. I thought it was going to be 10 minutes. I was like, this will be easy. It was a full day. Everything's Somehow everywhere. that sword missed the... I hit it. <laughs> I hit it. And I want to apologize to my beautiful super fans that sent me weapons. Robbie has... She's forced me to get rid of almost all of my weapons. Weapons, things, everything. Things. It, it's all gone. And when I tell you I threw out nun nunchucks, but gradually you screaming. Cut through the wide? <sighs> You notice anything missing from this hole right here? There was nunchucks there, just uh, she made me get rid of them. She's like, you don't last even. Episode. I go talk about them every day. My sister last said she goes, you talk about them every day. Yeah, so well, the nunchucks are gone, and you know, my fan Papa Orlando, yeah, maybe need a who, bit of this. who sent these to me, he's probably going, well, at least you have that other pair I sent you. No, she got to those two. Both <laughs> nunchucks have been thrown into the trash. There's a homeless person just swinging around. <laughs> Robbing a Ralph's right now. My Michonne sword I got her just a few weeks ago. That's gone. I feel so the much other regret. Samurai I feel sword. so like I feel so unhappy about it. <laughs> that I don't want to say I want to use a weapon against Rob because I don't. It's not that. It's that I <laughs> She was like, so anyway, so I call her and I go, Robbie, I, I threw out my She's nunchucks. Crying. Like, with the, I'm crying. I'm so upset. This is like an hour after she left or longer because it was the, the garbage was gone. There was no going into the. It was about an hour. Okay. It was about right an hour. Right before she leaves and he's always, while we're doing it, she's in it. She's like, okay, this is good. I'm getting rid of all my stuff. And then Robbie's like, okay, I got to go, but you guys are going to finish everything. Right. And he's like, yeah, I'll get this all done today. And I go, oh boy. And you go, what? <laughs> I go, this is not going to get done. You kidding me? As soon as Robbie leaves and that energy leaves, that's when the anxiety and the depression comes on. So I call her and I go, <laughs> I got rid of my nunchucks. I feel like this is like a part of my identity. And Robbie's like, you're not your nunchucks. You're what's special. You could be in a room with nothing, Annie. You got to stop relying on your things to, to make you what you are. It's you. I believe in you. I'm betting on you, not your things. We threw out props that I never even got to use on here because I didn't know I had them. She's like, well, you haven't used them. I'm like, because I didn't have them here. I did a, thor a, a crown of thorns that I never got to use. <laughs> she didn't get this, though. I had this. Look. <laughs> look what I had. It's a plant. <laughs> plan. I had my oh, shaman shaking We got to hide from this. <laughs> I'll call her a <laughs> Here. But I threw out the nunchucks and I was just like really losing it. So I call her and she's like, oh, my whatever. God. I call her. This is just going to be like that. I call her and, and she goes, I can't, Annie. I am. What did she said? I'm cooked. I'm beat. I spent an entire day fighting with a 30 year old man who didn't want to throw out a free screw that came with a. She wants to throw out tools. I said, why are we throwing out tools? You don't throw out tools. You keep them. She goes, I'm arguing with a 30-year-old man about his, <laughs> his, a nail he could buy from Home Depot. I'm arguing with a 41-year-old woman about nunchucks. And, uh, <laughs> and then I was like, you know what? You're right. You're right. You're right. So then you I mean, make peace with I don't with want it. that. I want that. <laughs> it's not. It's out? Something. Well, it's like. It's clogged? It's clogged. Fix it. Uh, uh. Oh, he fixed it. He's so strong. I didn't fix it. You need some meaning. Enough with the, the thing. <laughs> mother, mother ayahuasca, come to us. Help us get our sniff sniffs. I can't. It's fix too our sniffs. Our, our sniff is stiff. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, I like an extra spicy one. 
<laughs> it's the best feeling. It hurts so Ooh, bad. It hurts so good. Ariana, do you want to try? It's smelling salts. You got to try it. Tired. I, I, it's, Ariana, do you I'll get take like high off away. of that? I don't no, know. No, you do not get high. a quick high. boost. Of what? Yeah, a water. boost of what? <laughs> it hurts. But no, listen, I'm Ariana, scared. I don't, I don't, Ariana, I don't, I don't do drugs. I don't know if this considers that this is an assault. <laughs> I don't do drugs. You are not, not drugs. It's not drugs, but you are, I'm taking away your spot tonight. No, <laughs> come on. Come on. On a sold out Bill Burr. Come on. Felipe Esparza, Brad Williams. I'm giving Brad two spots. No. I'm giving that little munchkin two spots. Munchkin. You oh just my go like god! This. Okay, not around. I just yeah. walked. You breathe it. in. No, you don't really need to. What's do it, it going to do, do to me? What's it going to do to me? Just like energy, energy? Like a spicy sniff. Okay. It's like wasabi. I'll, I'll try it. You I'll like wasabi? <laughs> sure. You got a little squeeze. Wait, 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 wait. Don't do it until I film. <laughs> this is assault. This is so crazy to make someone do <laughs> yeah, something. Like I squeeze it. I squeeze it. Oh, me. Okay. Okay. Right? <laughs> Just get a little closer. And that's and get like a little when you spray your computer with that. <laughs> like yes, you're huffing. No, it's not drugs. No, it's just the. Uh, it's ammonia. No. It's ammonia. No. <laughs> that's Todd, do a good one. illegal. Where are you getting this? <gasps> Amazon, baby. Uh, what? Bezos, Amazon sells this? Bezos wants oh. us up and ready to grind. Is what oh athletes God. use. What right do you before, think? Like How crazy back? would it be if you just saw me walking around the store just huffing <laughs> <laughs> a the best. Wait, Joshy's got one. Oh, yeah. Me and Josh is just doing in the back parking lot all day. It's so, like, if I knew this when I was a teenager, I'd be huffing like crazy. It's the right type of like, it's the thing that makes your body kind of. <clears throat> I found out about them during my brother's bachelor party. His friends bought a bunch of the ones that you snap, the smelling salts that you actually snap. He goes, are those poppers? And you go like this and you go, oh, oh, oh. Are those the ones that help with anal? No, they're the ones that help you when uh, you're like on heroin and I you're about to pass out. I have a question. Can you look up and can you see our poppers smelling salts? Oh, she's, what a good learner. <laughs> <laughs> she's so good. She's got a cute little nose to him. Like, seeing this little nose, you got like a nose job nose. <laughs> yeah, people get, a, people would, they would bring your nose in and say, I want this nose. So what are you we'll typing? What are we typing are poppers smelling salts? Yeah, here we go. No, they're not oh, drugs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right here. Scroll it's like, down. can't they just give us the answer, yes or no? Oh, yeah, I guess it is. They're poppers. poppers. That's yeah. what people use for butt stuff. You just made me do poppers. <laughs> 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 and right now, Randy's sliding into that Wait, beehole. what does it... Uh... Oh, my God. Popper. I love this. What does Popper. it do for... <laughs> <laughs> Is it okay? Oh, a replacement oh, for smelling oh, oh. salts. They're entirely different. They are different. You didn't do poppers. Oh, can they cause injury? That's what I need to know. Let's oh. go to the National She's Library sue of Medicine. Us. Here we go. First Annie with lawsuit. Not <laughs> this is great. First. I love when a journal article starts with a poem. Wait. What's in a name? That which we call a rose. Wait, Wait. that is cute though. That's a cute hook. <laughs> did you have to, to write research papers like this in college? Yeah. And you gotta have a cute little hook in the beginning I'd to have impress to write your teacher. Research papers in college this is because insane. I was in to film an institute. School. You went to an institute. I went to film school. He went to the art institute. There was a commercial on TV for it. If there's a commercial for your <laughs> school, it's not a real school. Well, there's a commercial for Temple University, too. Dark. Temple University. Yeah, why is there? Because it's for Philly. Um, go back and just type in what is poppers. Okay. Let's see what poppers are. Because I don't a... understand what smelling salts would do for your rear end. Okay, well... We're going to have to get through that. Uh, uh, poppers are banned? What are poppers? They poppers are, are a group of chemical chemicals. substance that produce intoxicating vapor. We'll click on that. This one? Oh, no, you do get high. Yeah, you get one. high from poppers. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> See how right. it's an LGBT Use, thing? Use press on the... Uh, <laughs> on the, uh, on the <laughs> no, keyboard. Uh-huh. Press uh, command and plus at the same time okay. to zoom in. Yeah, LGBT keep doing it. LGBT plus. Zoom in like a lot. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Go, go. And they're the All A. Right, yeah, there we now. go. Let's scroll down. Scroll. Wait, what is? Oh, here we go. Uh, al uh, uh, alky alkyl nitrates. That's not what this is. is oh, I love an alkyl nitrate. I want some poppers. They, they widen. I see widen. They widen your <laughs> anal cavity. 
As your heart doesn't have to work as hard, the increase in blood flow causes blood pressure to drop. The Ew. widening of your blood vessels and your anal cavity also causes smooth muscle tissue through your body to relax. Oh. So you relax. So your people, whole? I think like during anal, we don't- They get scared? They get, they clench. They we would have to do anal because I'm. I don't trust your pullout game. Oh my god! I don't want to stick it in your nasty booty. I don't booty. want. I don't want your <laughs> nasty thing in my beautiful booty. How about that? How about that? Think we have a very this. healthy, beautiful relationship. These people do not believe us. We started doing this way long ago, by the way, and Joe Rogan copied. He copied us, us. when he started getting. Way it. to go, Rogie! All right, so. so um anyway how do we get to that to that to what i was explaining something oh so anyway so we go on family vacation <laughs> yeah, and we show this? the video yep. we Perfect. show the video of the episode with robbie that we posted um where we're getting rid of jackets and clothes and stuff like that my sister-in-law when she saw that i threw out the leopard print jacket she was like you cannot show this to your nieces and everyone freaked out. By the way, I've had 20 of those jackets. Like, since you've seen me in leopard print jackets, I've had different the versions. The internet was ablaze. When the internet video. was ablaze, and I was a craze. Let me just tell you, I was spin, 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 spinning around this bitch. I was like, it was during the Olympics, and let's just say it was Winter Olympics over here, because I was doing pirouettes. I was doing triple axles. I was, I, I was a figure skater. I was spinning so much. It was a wild time for me. I was like, why did I throw it out? But then I'm like, I, because I've thrown a hundred of these out because they get messy, they rip or whatever. There's like a hole in the pocket. This was like a dirty one. This was, oh, I got it from Boot Barn. There's ketamine all in the pockets. She takes her I hands out. I never throw that out. No, it opened up and poofed yes, in Yes, it's just not even nice. It absorbs. <laughs> you don't want that. You can go in a hot tub. You never know when you're going to be in a hot tub. But so I start to panic about that. I again make peace with it. Okay, I'm a little bit, I'm shook by how many people are upset with me getting rid of this. They're like, this is your look. This is your blah, blah, blah. And <laughs> with Robbie's take on things, she is kind of right where it's like, is it time for me to evolve? Is it time for me to get a new look? There's some bitches that bite me, that copy me, not my fans. I want all of you guys to copy me. But there's some other girls that are kind of in the same space as me that start wearing crazy jackets and you go, <laughs> I kind of was the crazy jacket girl, but I'm <clears throat> flattered. It's cute. People started wearing my heart glasses. Like people just started kind of copying me. And then I go, that's okay. And then I evolve, right? Am I going to be the le leopard print jacket girl forever? And then I started remembering people went as me for Halloween. I had a distinguished <laughs> look. I, people knew me, knew me. Um, so I wavered in and out of going, this is a grown up me. This is a time for a new look. This is time to bring new energy in. And then I worked through it. And then we went on family vacation and my sister-in-law, my entire family went, then you threw out the leopard print jacket. And I was like, what? And they're like, you don't understand. You have matching ones with your niece. I forgot I had match matching ones with my nieces, which one of them's grown out of it. You know, they're growing girls, but she's like, <laughs> Claire, my younger niece, she's like, Claire wears it all the time. And she just went to a writing camp, like a writing and reading camp. And she wrote a whole story about how her favorite thing is her leopard print jacket that matches her auntie. <laughs> so I'm like losing it. And then I told him about the nunchucks. They're like, your nunchucks? You love your nunchucks. And I was like, I do love my nunchucks. And then, so oh, I just want to grab see, them. This floor, there's, there was like a foot down here. We threw there away the a, foot. Uh, all my props are gone. There was a bunch of things down here. They're all gone now. All the props are gone except the hidden ones. Besides the hidden ones. And I'm freaking and, out. Oh, we got rid of the thing too, huh? No, the thing's still here. The things here? The things in another box, yeah. The thing is, we, we use it. <laughs> the thing is a thing. We got rid of a lot of things. Annie, is there anything you feel good about throwing out? Maybe it's time to flip your perspective. Yeah, I think there's probably a lot that I'm not even thinking of. There was a sweater that everyone's like, I wish I had that sweater. And I'm like, yeah, it was so cute. It had a tear in it. And Robbie's like, we don't have things with tears in it. It's like, we also have a sewing kit. Do we? Yes, I just bought one because I have to re-sew my extensions. <laughs> They are falling out. At any moment, just an extension could fall to the ground. Fall to the floor. What is falling, that? Falling, falling, No, wait. What was, my, what was I singing? What falls to the floor? The placenta. Girl, placenta. He's good. <laughs> Do you remember that song, Ariana? There's a live no, song. No, I would from be the scared album, to remember that. From the album Lightning. Wait. No, the album Ooh. Throwing Copper live. It came out when I was in middle school. It was probably like 2000. 7 2006 i mean sorry 97 96 it doesn't matter 
there's a line in the song Lightning Crashes where they say, Lightning crashes a and new no mother, mother cries. Died. She doesn't die. The new mother doesn't die. <laughs> Her placenta falls to the floor. That's Annie's favorite line. That's in any a song. crazy line. Yeah, it's in insane to just throw a placenta in. Yeah, it, I mean, I feel like that was a prank. Like someone was like, "I'll give you a thousand dollars." It's if one you put of the placenta. greatest pranks of the nineties, and yeah. that's right. Like, I, I think it even inspired uh, uh, David Blaine to start doing magic. He said, <laughs> "If they can get placenta." The angel opens her eyes, pale blue covered eyes. Pale blue colored iris presents the circle <laughs> of the glory left to hide. Hide, hide. Lightning crashes. Oh, I feel it coming back again like a rolling thunder chasing the wind. Forces is spooling to the center of the earth. Again. What was it? Forces pulling? I thought it was force a spoon into the center of the earth. Why is this basket in the shop? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's another. OK, so I brought that basket because I wanted I was like, I want to organize all of our um, products. So basically, it's just a box with a lot of machines <laughs> and a few Lumis and such. But I brought up one with a hole with it was too small. Yeah, that's good. Wait, they organized the, the blow machine made the cut it made the marine well, we, have to, for we have to keep it for for uh, and also, auto blow and it's a great machine and also and by the way it's the best it machine we own it's the number one thing and telling a lesbian that we're keeping a machine feels good <laughs> it feels like we are taking back as cisgendered humans we are taking back the night we are keeping our machines we're not letting lesbians treat us like shit okay lesbians you have penis machines you have vaginal machines here take take that machine out the other one no not the the smaller one i'll show you what annie does with this <laughs> oh is it yanked in there oh i like that it's like a it works your biceps oh, here oh boy here just do this oh you don't have to take it all right all right oh boy so this is what annie does with it she takes this part out <laughs> oh oh wow oh boy what happened i just dropped the th okay it takes a little TLC to get out. <laughs> Here we go. Thumbs out. Shaped like a flashlight. So this is what Annie does. She takes the lip part. You can cut to me. She takes the lip part. And she just does this with it. She just uses, pretend this is her cookie. She just goes like this to it. I do not. <laughs> like I and do not. She goes like <laughs> I do not do that with my cookie. What do you do? I get it and I make it talk. So Todd has two people talking to him. <laughs> I go. <laughs> so you're going to speak into that side? I go. <laughs> Is that all you got? <laughs> Do wait, more. wait. Go up. Put it so it's like, get up to the left a little more. Oh, oh. There you go. <laughs> it's crooked. <laughs> <laughs> She goes, oh, I feel it coming. I go, her placenta falls to the floor. <laughs> this moment she's been waiting for. Hey, a blue colored iron <laughs> presents the circle of the glory left to her heart. And then I do this with it. I just go like this. <laughs> <laughs> We don't like to have skin-to-skin -skin contact, so we pass our messages through this. Sometimes I wake Todd up in the morning and go, are you going to walk Randy? Randy is this? I go, Randy, like the boy. I wake Randy up. I go, Randy, you ready for a walk? I got outside. Oh, don't get him excited. This smells like penile situations. Is this, this the one, one has you never used? been used. This is the one you used. No, it's not. Oh. Auto blows today. Yay! So this is a, you know, we thought we were giving a free app, but this you is guys, a paid app. there's so many other ways you can use this. I sometimes I'm like, should I get my lips done? And then I'm like, what would it look like? <laughs> Move your top hand. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that would be a bad weather girl. I'm always like, which direction is it? And Todd's penis, right. this doesn't even need to open. Todd's penis fits right in there. <laughs> right in there like that. 
Sometimes he's like, is the can the mouth get smaller? All right. Oh, we love our. We'll, we'll love, be doing the ad later. <laughs> we love Stick this. Stick around thing. for the actual ad. Listen, all of us here, all of us Woodies, we're humans, okay? Some of us have appendages that we want est, okay? Sometimes we want our D's est's and we can't, we don't have a partner, okay? Some of us are watching at home, hoping that Todd falls down the stairs, loses his life, and maybe Annie becomes available. And then you don't have anyone to give you any of the... Uh... The things that the make you feel good. The things that make the make bijolinos. Feel fine. <laughs> Bijabanos. I mean, you could work on your flexibility. I, I never see that many guys in hot yoga, and I think, are you not trying to S your own D? Like you have so you could just learn to stretch. You just flip those legs right behind your head and you just bend your uh your back. You gotta become like a like a letter C. And Todd, how many times have you tried to S your own D? I mean, too many to count. <laughs> you could just DIY it with auto blow. I hear it's the best BJ machine. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's easy to use right out of the box, okay? Sometimes you don't have a female box, so you got to get your BJ out of an actual box, okay? And it's easy to use right out of that. And you never even have to wait for the good times, for oh, the good time to come that. around, for the right time, the mood. And here's the deal. The auto blow has AI. We, this, this is an AI heavy episode, guys. AI, they watches the bad videos for you and it simulates the hand of the woman or man doing the deed. The deed. And okay. it feels like you're in the video. It feels like you're really there. <laughs> and you know what? I am there because I like to watch over Todd when he does it. <laughs> And uh, this is a personal endorsement from me and Annie. We've saved so much time with this machine. Am oh my I right? God, I'm on the road a lot, guys. Okay? And there's only so much I can do to please my man. Before the, uh, the auto blow, she'd come home. There'd be food all over the walls. And I'd get so angry because I would just throw food at the walls. I'd smash plates and smash cups in the house. He gets very angry and when his snake this, is not, when the poison is not released from the snake. <laughs> Now with the now with this, the house is spotless because I have a lot of time on my hands. And that's another reason we had to get rid of all that stuff. It was really sticky. Robbie did help us with that, so I do appreciate. We had to throw out a lot of soiled products, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, and you know they've been in biz for fifteen years, so you know you can trust them. That's what I love about it. It's time to start having the best BJ's of your life. Head to autoblow.com and use code Annie to snag 10% off your order. That's autoblow.com code Annie for 10% off. Listen, Todd, what happens every night? Every night, I, I'm about to close my eyes. And my eyes are hear? about to shut and what I hear, hear, I'm so dang hungry. Do you hear anything from the kitchen like pop, 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 I pop. hear pops and I hear squishes pop, pop, and I pop, hear pop, pop, weird pop. noises in the squishes. kitchen. Squishes? Squishes, like a butter squish or something. Oh, yeah. Usually <laughs> there's a pop, 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 pop and some butter being melted. But I can't always do that, okay? You can't be eating these crazy snacks at night. What? That's why there's Factor. Factor's no prep, no mess meals are dietitian approved and get sent right to your front door. These dietitians, they know what they're talking about, guys. Don't fret on these dietitians. Don't. Dietitians <laughs> are, we want them to be, I like to call them liveticians. Because they over, keep you living a good life. Oh, with over 25 meal options each week, everything tastes amazing. It takes just two minutes to prepare. You just throw a factor meal in the microwave, you nuke it, or you can put it on the skillet, and you're good to go. And let me tell you, we have been factoring it up this week. Oh, yeah, we got it. It is buy actually, more, actually so freaking good. I feel like maybe we should have done the personal endorsement in the beginning because it's so, so, <laughs> so good. We got the keto. We just clicked the keto options and they just sent us stuff and it is freaking delicious. What was the one I made you yesterday? It's Ooh, so fun. It I get to cook for him. Chicken cheddar. I'm cooking for Todd now. Two minutes in the It mic. was a chicken cheddar with some garlic green oh, beans. Oh, my God, the green beans. Oh, it was good. They gave us a bunch of them. We just, I don't even check to see what it is. I just throw it in. I want to have the vegetarian tamales though, but they are so good. It's so delicious. It feels fresh. Um, you don't feel like, it's not like, you know when you get like the hungry man 
ones. Todd will get like a hungry man one. Uh huh. And she goes, "Why are you getting that? It's nasty. It's not good for you." Okay, this one's delicious. You know, like they're called TV dinners. I feel like Factor's like a a nice read dinner. You know, like you're reading, you're being healthy. Wow, you're reading a book I dinner. didn't think of it like that. <laughs> Well, you could but choose. So good. You could choose from six menu preferences to help you manage calories, maximize protein intake, avoid meat, or simply eat a well balanced meal. Whatever you're looking for, Factors got you covered, guys. And they are banging. They're so good. Get ripped and rich with us, guys. We're so excited to have these meals. Ripped and rich. That challenge is still going, guys. Ripped Don't and worry. rich is a forever <laughs> one. It's a forever one. I head to factormeals.com slash Anniewood50 and use code Anniewood50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. That's code Anniewood50 at factormeals.com slash Anniewood50 to get 50% off your first box and 20% off your next month while your, while subscription, while your subscription is active. It is so good. Eat the factor stuff. Trust me, eat it and then hit me up because you know it's going to be good. So back to my nieces and nephews. Um, <laughs> so anyway, the family was freaking out. So then I called Robbie. I mean, I get my sister-in-law started filming it. I was like, Robbie, what have you done? She's like, I got my whole family was like, Robbie, what have you done? Everyone was like, how could you make her get rid of these things? And uh, I did spend most of the vacation looking for a new leopard print jacket. I was like, if your nieces find out, they'll be devastated. But it's like, I wanted. I just wanted to get a new one. How does it feel to have this? It's not that in I never want. There's one from Guess that's really cute. It's like a little bit shorter, and I already have one. I have one that's made out of rabbit fur that someone else gave me. I would never buy fur. And then uh, to close off the vacation weekend, guys, we saw a bald eagle eat a duck out of the lake. So that was cool. I got it on film and I posted it on my YouTube. Well, here's what's TDH funny. TDH Jungle. Follow it TDH Jungle. I don't know if you can find it. We've tried to search it. I'm can't even find it. Find it. I can't even it's find basically it. in the jungle. I don't know where it is. You have to you have to go herping through the webs to find it. You have to take a flashlight and move rocks around just to find his YouTube. Yes, let's try to find it. She's good. Here, she minimize it. Yeah, put the display there. She already oh, learned. Oh, she's such a good learner. Mike well, obviously. Yeah, make that full screen. Yeah. TDH Jungle. Does that say tea digs? Or does it say teenage? Teenage. No, teenage tea jungle. Is that what you said? Tea dash digs. Wait, I'm sorry, Ariana. Did you think that his, he named it teenage jungle? <laughs> yeah, I was like, this is creepy as Ariana. Let go off, King. Wow, she was very supportive it? of this. Teen eggs? Tea digs. Tea dash digs. With a Z? <laughs> no, not with a Z, with an oh, S. Oh my God, missed opportunity to make it cool. <laughs> Yeah, you can't find it. It's just a bunch of like uh, pinos making like underground. Pinos? What's a pino? Like a Filipino. Is that okay to say? Yeah, pinos. Are you sure? Yes. But what if I'm talking about hollows instead? I have, I have a. Th oh, there it is. Oh. We're gonna get we're gonna get flagged for using your thing. <laughs> All right, skip to the eagle. I part. mean, Todd's. <laughs> voiceovers are to be worked on <laughs> guys watch this uh watch it oh Here we go. todd this is cute i've been in watch this how many minutes is There's it an eagle. i go this is a bald eagle listen to his voice <laughs> okay by the way we thought it was a fish at this first it's oh. a bald eagle huh? a symbol of america <laughs> You gonna tell me you don't want to watch this? Are you gonna be able to silence this? This is gonna get flagged. Why is it gonna get flagged? Because it's your YouTube and not ours. It ain't got. I got nothing. I got no subscribers. I don't got anything. All right, maybe just silence it a little bit. Even though we love your, why don't you do the voiceover? And then now? I go. I go. Uh, what are dreams like? Really? Yeah, I go, <laughs> sometimes, what if we just wake up and we're 80 years old and we go, that was a weird dream, our whole lives. Oh, you do? Yeah, I do a whole thing. <laughs> That's so cute. Todd. Watch it on T Diggs Jungle, guys. Subscribe, oh watch. Oh my God, you guys, I'm tearing up. I'm so proud of him. He I go, just usually does nothing all day. This is the thing with Todd. <laughs> he usually just has my credit card in his wallet. He does nothing. He charge, oh, yeah, charge, charges, charges away. Duck's head. Look at there's a, a bee eating the duck's head. Oh, the cycle of life. How many things are fed off of one duck? How cute it is that you're adding little things. I'm so proud of him. Because all I want is for my, I want my Todd to flourish. He's got so many 
great ideas and he's such a talented guy and he has so many cute interests. They put them all together. So guys, f subscribe, follow T Diggs Jungle. Follow T Diggs Jungle. That I even is have so a new uh, Instagram called T Diggs Jungle. I just post all my animals and things like that. And he won't let his brother follow him. <laughs> That's how bad it's gonna get. He's so embarrassed of getting bullied by his brother. What do you mean I won't let my brother follow him? You said you want, oh, you didn't follow him because you don't want him to know about. What are you talking about? What? You said it was suggesting people to follow. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, he doesn't want to follow. I follow Wayne on my other one. Why would I follow him on this one? I don't know. Maybe you're proud of what you do. Or Why would me following him? He would then be alerted that you have this new Instagram. No, he would just go, what the hell is a T-Dig jungle? And go, okay, I guess I got to He would follow. know right away what a T-Dig jungle is. <laughs> the only person that doesn't know what a T-Dig jungle is is Ariana, who thought it was a teenage jungle. Teenage jungle is wild. That sounds like... But uh, actually, teenage jungle does work because you're having like teenage thoughts, like philosophical It sounds like thoughts. a Nickelodeon like cartoon where all like the animals are all teenagers oh, and they're going to school. Wait. All right. The three of us, we got to okay, write it. Okay, let's go. Teenage Ariana, jungle. you got to be the typer. <laughs> That's what I love when you're like, when, when me and my other like comedian friends will come up with ideas and then it just gets down to like, who is typing? Who is actually writing it? Because <laughs> Tim and I are always like, what? we should do this. Now. Like, there's no, there, who's the typer? I always say I'll type and you guys go, okay. And then you go, uh, all right. Well, it's busy. called a writer's assistant. <laughs> yes, a writer's assistant. Typer. I like to call them typers. Typists. Typist. Like a pianist. Did you guys ever have to do Mavis Beacon yeah. in school? Yes. Mavis Beacon Thank teaches you for that up. I miss her. I played that the I other day. I think about her all the time. Do you think she got like Aunt jemima Oh, do you think she's I don't out? Know. Well, um, wait, was she white? No, she was black. Okay, because my say my it. nanny and housekeeper mm -hmm. growing up mm -hmm. was named Mavis, and she was. Well, what were you going to say? Color. What were we going to call her? Cleaning lady, which isn't what she was. She was more. <laughs> She was more than that. Good, good. We love Mavis. <laughs> My mom's like, Mavis, Mavis wants to Beacon chat. Mavis Beacon teaches Mavis typing. is reaching out. She wants to talk to me. So I don't want to brag. My childhood nanny still loves me. So that's how cute I was as a kid. Well. But she also might see my success and be <laughs> sneaking up on it. <laughs> She'll be creeping, 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 creeping. <laughs> um, Ariana, thank you for bringing up Mavis Beacon. What a cute thing to have a name so close to Bacon. I was very drawn to her in so many ways. Wasn't she just such a, like an inspirational bad bitch? Yeah, I mean, I was like, let's go. I'm about to like learn this whole typing system. Yes. I know where the F and the G I can look without looking at the keyboard, you know? Vim and Vigor, Vim and Vigor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had to type Vim and Vigor, Vim and Vigor, Vim and Vigor, Vim and Vigor. Whoa, 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 back it up. <laughs> back it up. <laughs> What did you have to write? It's a Vietnamese person that wears a fat limb hat. Is a vigor? Yeah. <laughs> no, Vim and Vigor. Oh my God. All right. Todd, stop. All right, continue. Stop being so Jersey. I mean, I'd never heard of that, and I'm basically did you from speaking? Vietnamese. You what? were saying Vietnamese so much that I was like, is that how it's pronounced? That is how you say it. No, it's not. Vietnamese food. You're Vietnamese doing like a weird accent. Movies. Vietnamese. You're being like cocky. You're putting a me in it. You're being like narcissistic. Well, how do you say it? Vietnamese. That's what I just said. No, say it again. Vietnamese. Vietnamese. <laughs> that's what I just said. <laughs> uh, no, that's what you're saying. V up my knees. I didn't say V up my knees. Vietnamese. No, this is like a weird. What am I saying? I wrong? think you were doing like a. Frank, where you were like trying to sound a little Vietnamese when you did it, and then it became your natural way of saying it. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I just said it the same way as I said it two seconds ago. Right. All of them are wrong. You just said it, and you said that, so that do you're Do we have wrong. any Vietnamese? That's what you said. Vietnamese. And Vietnamese. Well, how do you say Vietnamese. Viet Not Vietnamese. Vietnamese. There's, oh you're switching the N and the M. <laughs> Am I don't crazy? Don't switching the no N and M's. <laughs> No, he did say it. he did. He did he kind of like throw a little bit like of like accent, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> but he's allowed. He's mom. allowed. You can't this touch him. His mom is very disappointed. This is why people comment what they comment. <laughs> this All is right, how long do upset. we have? We did so long, and we're not even done with the. I didn't even the tell vacation. any of. I haven't said anything yet. All right, start saying things.
What were we saying? What were we talking about? You have to keep me on track. I we keep talking you. about the vacation. Somebody That's what commented, I try. Annie, this really needs to be more organized. And I was like, have they followed? Do you know who I am? More organized how? Oh my goodness. You guys want to take a look into the side of brain? Let's we'll see what you find. There's fish swimming. It's a, <laughs> it's a swimming, it's a uh, fish tank up here. Oh, I wanted to do, oh, I didn't get the bomb bracelet. Todd's mom. Okay. So when we were home, Todd's mom was, she's from Laos and she was explaining to me. So what happened? Laos is the most bombed per capita country in the world. In America, history. In history, in the world. Yeah. Not just currently, forever and always. True. Um, unless the dinosaurs were dropping bombs on Laos. I don't know. Well, that's why I'm the bomb. <laughs> I thought I was going to say why you were attracted to me is because I bomb so much. Oh my! I mind you, your mom, your homeland. <laughs> anyway, so we um, we were talking about it, and she sent me this this YouTube video, and we watched this YouTube video together, explaining what happened. And so, basically, during the Vietnamese Vietnamese War, the <laughs> Americans just had to get rid of these. They couldn't bring the bombs back to America, so they just dropped them over Laos. Like, oh, we'll just drop them on Laos. And if you look at Laos, so they show like a map. There's just bombs all over that bitch. Like it is like, it looks like freaking, uh, what's the guy from cocaine tiger that died? I mean, cocaine bear. Uh, Ray Liotta. It looks like Ray Liotta's skin. All right. There's bombs ever just crater, 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 crater everywhere. It's all <laughs> over that bitch. The, let's just say the country is a pizza face. Okay. And, uh, so we watched this thing about it and then his mom gave me this bracelet she, that is, his niece had gotten her, but it was too big for her. Now it's too small for me and it hurts to put on. But I had it on for a while. It was like this piece of metal and it's made from one of the bombs in Laos. Oh, so they're called peace it. bombs. It gives, um, it's a peace bomb. It's a really cool organization. I'm like actually excited to maybe go visit, do some stuff with them. I have some plans for the wedding. Do you guys think this is a good idea? Should we get married in front and right when we say yes, and I do, and we kiss, should someone ignite some bombs behind us? Write in the comments, guys, what do you think about that what idea? What do you think? Is that a good idea? Because they have the minefields <laughs> and they go out and they have to ignite them. And they're all like in a tent. There's already a tent. It's very, very wedding-like. We could get some fake kids' hands and feet to <laughs> well, fly I, up in the well, air. Bobby already made me throw mine out. I already had a bunch. I threw out the arm that my mom threw at me on, on the stage, but that's good. That was bad vibes. So what but, happened when you had okay, the Okay, so then, um, you know... We finish our vacation, we grab Randy, we go to the TSA. And when you have a dog and you go through TSA, you go through the metal detector, you don't go through the, this thing. So I- Don't put those armpits up. I know, they're sweating. Uh, they're and white. And they're white. <laughs> this is what happens when you have hyperhidrosis and you spray tan. Do you guys like this spray tan better than my last one? This one's closer to my house, but it's not as bougie. The other place I go is JLo's. <laughs> um, and Selena's and all the brown girls that don't really need to spray tan. Selena Gomez? Gomez. Yeah, Gomez. But anyway, so I'm holding Randy. I'm going through the metal detector. It keeps going off. She's like, what do you have on you? What do you have on you? And I'm like, it must be the zippers of my thing. And then I go, oh, I see the bracelet. Like, oh, it's this bracelet. She goes, okay, take it off. So I'm taking it off. And as I'm taking it off, I, my mouth is pursed. It's ready to talk. It's ready to say, this is a bomb. I was so close to saying this is a bomb to TSA, to being on a no-fly list, to being anally. All my cavities checked. We would have missed that flight. I would have been in a room for hours. But I shut my mouth up and I just went, it's a bracelet my mother-in-law gave me. But I was so close to getting into so much trouble. Because you wanted to brag it was so a bomb. bad I wanted to brag. Bomb. I wanted to be like, look, I stop Asian hate. <laughs> I am such a kind woman. I donate money and time and services. I donate money to Laotian. I actually sponsor a Laotian. Guys, this is actually unbelievable. I sponsor a young Laotian. Why don't you sponsor the actual ocean? Instead of the French version, the Laotian? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Okay. So yeah, she's she's got a bomb bracelet, guys. If you ever see her with the bomb bracelet, hit her up. See, uh, she'll show it to you. I'll show you. Well, it doesn't really fit. <laughs> It's like, can you bomb this again so it gets bigger? I know. I think I have to cut it and then you can bend it over. TJ Miller, have a great show tonight. Thank you, Tej. A roast. There's for... a new, there, guys, there's this new thing going on where 
uh, it's a new trend where people are going on chat GPT to write roast about uh, either famous people or people they know. And chat GPT will make these roasts and they're pretty accurate and pretty funny. So uh, I wrote one about Annie and she got so mad. I was, I broke his phone. She was so mad. I smashed his phone. <laughs> and then I wrote one about me and it was actually pretty good. Todd Walker, huh? <laughs> Annie Letterman's boyfriend, or as he's known in the comedy world, the guy who's standing next to Annie Letterman. <laughs> Todd looks like the kind of guy who says, I'm fine with being in the background, but deep down, he's hoping for a Netflix special titled Todd Walker. No, seriously, I'm here too. <laughs> Dude, that's true. Netflix, pick it up. He probably thinks being Annie's boyfriend automatically makes him funny by association. Ooh, this is like, <laughs> oh. Todd, we know it's hard to keep up with Annie's energy, but someone's got to be the designated driver in the relationship, both literally and emotionally. That's actually so true. That's true. Hang in there, Todd. Your big break is just around the corner. Or, you know, two steps behind Annie. <laughs> Roast with love. All right. All right, then do mine. I'll do yours. Annie Letterman is what happens when you mix a tequila, a shot of tequila with an impulsive tweet. <laughs> I kind of like that. It should be racist. Like tweet. That? <laughs> <laughs> She's got the energy of someone who's always in the middle of saying, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I and does anyway. Know. And she does anyway. Is what's up. <sighs> Annie looks like she's been through more phases than a moon cycle. Oh, see guys, phases, getting oh rid my of my God. freaking jacket. <laughs> Yet somehow she's still running on daylight saving time. I don't know what that means. <laughs> like I have the wrong time. <laughs> Her comedy is like an unfiltered Instagram story. Reliable, relatable, overshared, and you're still not quite sure why you watch the whole thing. Damn. Damn. Should That's that be the name of my special? Are you guys still watching? <laughs> But seriously, Annie, you've got more stories than an AA meeting and just as many relapses. <laughs> Keep doing you because no one else can. That's actually sweet. Thank you, there AI. You All right, let's see. What is there one for Ariana? That's what I was going to say. <laughs> My sister sent me one if you want me to read it. Yes. <laughs> it's not very good, though. I feel like Randy. it's not mean. It's just. Randy, what the hell's wrong with you? On it. Randy's like, yeah. Let's see where. Wait, it we is. should do one about Randy. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, here's Jackson? what it wrote. It said, "Looks like Ariana Ranch is on a comedy quest to turn laughter into confusion with a bio that's as mysterious as their jokes." Dang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh wait this is the bad wait there's a better one there's a better one okay uh take a trip to real estate fantasy island by following ariana ramich where every angle is an attempt to convince you that they live in a parallel universe of perfect lighting and unattainable perfection if only oh my god this is like she's so pretty you know? no it's like, <laughs> like she's, so she's fake pretty. as they're like, oh my God, she's so pretty. It says, if only their filter game was as strong as their reality check game. Hashtag keep it real. Hashtag not buying. And guys, follow Ariana because I want you to see how ugly she looks in all the pictures. <laughs> Just a hideous <laughs> clown. Um, That's like, they're like, oh, she must be filtered. She looks so pretty. She's got that like nose job nose. Is, is that true? You do. It's what like, do you it's mean got, by like, that? Like, it's really cute. It's, like, really perfect okay. and cute. And, like, someone Thank would bring you. it and be like, I want this nose. Thank you. I'm very self-conscious really? about the nose. So, what yeah. do you think about it? I, I think it's, like, bulbous. No, and like, it's yeah. not at all. Yeah. You've got, like, the little button. I draw okay. that on with really? makeup. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. I give myself a little button. It's a great <laughs> nose. Cute. Isn't that weird what we <laughs> yeah. see in ourselves? Oh, yeah. The things that you hate um, the most about yourself are the things that other people love about you. Exactly. And isn't that traumatic? So. Yeah, like... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, my personality. No, I always like my. This is very cute. This it's is very so cute. cute. Will you guys, do a roast of Randy? This. And they're not going to know Randy. They are going to know Randy. <laughs> I did one of Josh Potter. Read that one. <laughs> Josh Potter looks like he was put together by a sketch artist with a shaky hand and a hangover. <laughs> his face screams, I've seen some things, but his comedy says, I've slept through most of them. <laughs> Josh's vision might be legally blind, but his career is in 2020 focus, completely blurry and still trying to find its way. This is mean. I feel mean talking we about love Josh. Our Josh. Like this. 
He's got that I woke up on the wrong side of life vibe. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> like he's always five minutes late to his own punchlines. That's what I mean. Every all these jokes are like you say the punchline like this. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like the punchline of these jokes is like like Josh, you're a, you're a walking warning label for what happens when you binge too many podcasts and forget to blink. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. If they really knew, they'd be making fun of his symptoms. These are good. Are you guys on ChatGPT or yeah. what did you yeah, guys I use? Yeah, ChatGPT. Chat These are good. Loki. All right, you want to hear Randy? Randy, Andy Letterman's dog, has more issues than a reality TV star. <laughs> the dog looks like he's constantly plotting a way to steal your food while simultaneously wondering where it all went wrong. With a face only a mother could love. <laughs> and even she hesitates. Randy's the kind of dog that makes you question if pets really do start to look like their owners or if Annie just looked, just took in a stray raccoon and called it a day. He's his bark, bark might be worse than his bite, but let's be honest. He's more likely to trip over his own feet than catch anything worth biting. How do they know that? Look how cute. Randy, I'm sorry. We didn't mean it. Oh, Randy, are you hurt? Oh, he's hurt. Oh, Randy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's Joe DeRosa. Let me pick up real quick. Oh, we got it. We let's just finish. You're on the pod. Oh uh, no, I can't talk on the pod. What do you have to say <laughs> about the state of females in comedy? I mean, you know, it's just as it's as good as it's ever been. This is DeRosa's. When uh, <laughs> one of our friends asked DeRosa, "What's like the best pickup line for a female comedian?" and what was your pickup line? <laughs> I really like your closer. <laughs> I think it was just you're fun. You're really funny. You're such an asshole. Um, it's, the same as a, it's the same pickup line for guys. It's the same. It's, <laughs> oh, really? Are you dating comic. men now? I mean, it's just you know, it's a com. Any comic will will come to pieces if you say you're funny. It's well, really, isn't funny. it? So disgusting. It's disgusting. I resent being a comic. I hate being a comic. It makes me sick. <laughs> Uh, you know. Well, what? Tell us something good that's happening in your career. Uh, everything's good. <laughs> he loves that bit. <laughs> that's a Keith Robinson bit. <laughs> <laughs> you guys didn't know she hung up on him right when he was saying what's good is his career. Oh, same things were going good. It's so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> He's still talking, by the way, he hasn't noticed. <laughs> Wait, let's write a uh, rose for DeRosa. <clears throat> oh, my God. Wait, that's so funny. Uh, okay, wait. I have one more. Write a roast. Oh, God, that is really... Here I now. asked uh I asked ChatGPT to write a roast about the the first Down syndrome lawyer and ChatGPT was like we don't do things like that. <laughs> Did you just finish? Does that make you feel good? <laughs> I, haven't <laughs> I haven't stopped laughing. I have not stopped laughing since you hung up. I was like is he still doing it? Wait, I have to read you something. No, it doesn't count. But like, if I called you to be like, can I be on your pod? And then you did that. Sure, but you know. Rosa, I want to buy a hot dog just to slap it out of your hand. I, I got, I, I, I asked. I love you. But this is our thing. You're really in host mode, huh? You're in host mode. No, this is how we always are. You're really potted up. You're excited about your big show tonight? Well, listen. Oh, somebody's jealous. They've never been asked to be on. Uh, we I'm just asked Chat. We asked Chat GBT <laughs> to do a, a roast of Joe DeRosa. You ready? I mean, sure. Joe DeRosa <laughs> looks like the kind of guy who walks into a room and immediately lowers the IQ by ten points. <laughs> His comedy is so dry. It's actually not. He gets spit on a lot. Um, his comedy is so dry. Chat GPT. Yeah, those are actually decent jokes. Isn't that sad? They are coming for us. Um, Mike Lawrence is out of a job. Um, <laughs> okay. His comedy is so dry. You'd think he was trying to cure beef jerky on stage. <laughs> Joe's career has more ups and downs than oh. a yo-yo in the hands of a caffeinated toddler. And somehow. Hold 
<laughs> my comedy is anything but dry. I mean, I'm beating them over the head. Well, what doing. No, what I was saying, I was like, it's not dry at all. He gets spit on. He's literally been spit on from the audience onto the stage. That is true. And then that you is have, very true. But then didn't in you have a Philly. But didn't you have a threesome with them hotel. afterwards? No, no, but oh. in the, in the, no, with, with, you think I had a threesome with the guy that spit on me? I didn't know it was a guy, I thought it was a girl, I thought you got hocked to it. No, a guy, no, 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 the story, you're mixing the story up, the story is, this guy spit on me, and he got thrown out, and then his girlfriend stayed, and his girlfriend was like hitting on me after the show, and I was like, lady, you gotta, Thank you, but you got to get away from me. This is, this is, this is yeah. This, ain't, this isn't the way in. This only works on female comedians. <laughs> okay, wait. Yeah, it, was a, it was a horror show. It was a disgrace. Okay, wait. Uh, and somehow, and somehow, he's still just hanging in there, like the last leftover slice of pizza that no one really wants but feels bad throwing away. He's the only <laughs> comedian who can make you nostalgic for the silence before he started talking. <laughs> If wow. sarcasm was a superpower, Joe would still find a way to misuse it and end up saving a villain instead. They knew you're into superhero stuff. So wait, do you think so? Like if you put in the Mark Norman or something right now, do you think it'll be the same roast jokes? No. Like the gross jokes will change. Yeah. Like in other words, does it just plug names into insults? Like it, th these are like, these, these could be from joke books or something. I don't fucking you know. Yeah. I mean? like, or do you think it actually has any concept of like, I, this is who I am? Well, I didn't say you were a comedian. So usually I say like, I say like write a roast joke about a comedian, Joe DeRosa, so a comedian, Joe DeRosa, but I just wrote Joe DeRosa. So they knew you were a comedian. So they looked you up enough. God, that's frightening. That's really <laughs> frightening. You're out of yeah. a job. All right. Well, all right, call me later because I'm going to talk shit about things I won't say on the air. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait. Just say it. We'll bleep right. it. I'm lying. Just say it. Right, okay, no, love you. Bye. No, Bye. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, we have a little more to go. Randy's still hurt by his we roast. a little more. Randy's still hurt. Oh, Yours was hurt. so funny. They're like, this Ariana is so beautiful. How could she possibly tell jokes? I don't like, yeah. Well, <laughs> it was roasting my Instagram, but I now I'm like, I feel like it didn't. Well, Yours you have are a lot worse. of Van Coronas and yeah. you look great in them. Yours were so mean though. I want a mean roast, you know? <laughs> I want. I know I can handle it. Yeah, I I'm know not I sure can. About well, you it's yet. like you haven't said anything I haven't said in my own internal monologue, you know? Yeah. It's like. No, and mine, yeah. Mine was so short, too. I feel like they could have done a better job. I know, it AI. does feel like insulting. And, but you have, like, way more out on the internet, you know, that oh, they can just, way like... It's where that both of yeah. the roasts I made for Annie involved tequila shots or something. Well, reason. they might know that I used to drink, because I think all my bios are, like, former drinker. <laughs> Good, I'm glad that's all your bios. <laughs> I know, it really was. Well, that kind of was, like, my... I'm, like, when you're, like, you know, your seven minutes that gets you everywhere... In the beginning, I don't know if that still even exists, but I guess it would be like your like um, the set you would do on Don't Tell or something. Yeah. And it's like whatever your theme of that time and your career is, is kind of what they go with. But um, I wanted to play you guys. I got a new Joe Dispenza uh, walking meditation. And it's by the way, you have to close your eyes. I'm like, how am I walking and closing my eyes? I look so psychotic while I'm doing this, but I wanted you guys to hear how intense this is. It's pretty amazing. Like this is supposed to calm you down. They're supposed to be calm, but Randy's listen. already calm. Standing up. <laughs> what do you say? Standing up. <laughs> Standing up. Eyes closed. Standing up with your eyes closed. Oh, Take a popper. <laughs> Loosen that booty hole. Take a breath. Is this scary? It sounds like it's about to go to like a like, like a techno. Japanese. Yeah, like a techno like it just 90s goes into techno. it just goes into <laughs> anyone's gonna save the way. <laughs> what do you say? Black? I'm fascinated. <laughs> This is uh, 50 minutes in. Oh, my God. So you've just been walking for 50 minutes with your eyes closed. <laughs> now it's time. I almost got hit by like seven cars yesterday. Um, I just wanted to play that because I thought it was funny. 
Oh, Mike, did it help you? I wasn't really, I was paying attention to not falling, but I was walking, I walked through the canals and stuff, it was pretty. Oh. And then I wanted to play you guys this thing I heard. Do you think we'll get in trouble for playing something from Mind Bloom? I don't know. Might be copyrighted. But this was so pretty. Guys, we're already shadow banned, so what the hell's the point, am I right? Okay. So the Mind Bloom app that I'm not sponsored by anymore, I really just actually love it. It's my ketamine medicine app. You like have different things you're doing. And this is a part of the breaking the cycle of habit. Breaking the cycle, habit subtracting is this one. So I'm doing a habits program right now. And this is called turning your dreams into reality. And they just have someone speaking for seven minutes before you spit out the ketamine. And then like a ding happens and it's like crazy music and it's awesome. But this is what I was listening to. It was so beautiful. I was on ketamine, so I hope it's still good. <laughs> but I thought it was Sometimes so awesome. Decision making can be one of the most important days of your life. Maybe a decision you've postponed and postponed, and now you understand the penalty of postponing that decision. You've got to do something, and finally, you come to the conclusion today is the day. I now decide. And whether you decide on a new direction, whether you decide on a refinement in philosophy, uh, whether you decide to act when before you haven't acted, uh, you decide on a on, on a series of things that you're going to do. Uh, you, you decide. Uh, deciding can be uh, such. A okay, imagine a really high listener. Okay, you're like, what planet am I on? Incredibly important, uh, very exciting, inspirational day. Also, deciding sometimes starts the process of lifting our self esteem. Sometimes when you look back on it. Uh, the day that you decided uh, was just about as exciting as the day when you finally accomplished the project. You finally you know, got through whatever barriers kept you from making that decision, and finally you made a decision. Okay, there's six more minutes of that. Wow. But it's this guy, Jim Rohn. Okay, he's dead. How'd he die? Uh, pulmonary aneurysm. What that means? I think it's a heart attack. <laughs> or wait, an aneurysm your head. Embolism? But isn't pulmonary... Embolism. Oh, embolism. Don't be a bitch. <laughs> this ESL bitch knows English better than me. This English is a second language bitch over here. Do you know you're not allowed to say ESL anymore? Good. It's disrespectful. Good. <laughs> oh. But anyway, what I learned in that ketamine session was, all I kept hearing was get done bitch get done bitch get done bitch get done bitch get blank 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 beep 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 and if you want to know what that amazing lesson is you're gonna have to join the patreon i blew the whole thing out if you want to hear what my amazing lesson was and changed my life you have to join the patreon for the uncensored version guys that's it for us over here on Annie Wood. Does Todd have anything to add? Uh, yeah, I just want to let you guys know that Big Brother's still going on oh, strong. Oh, let's talk about Big Brother. <laughs> let's talk about Big Brother. Tucker is a crazy, Ooh, crazy Tucker. son of a gun. We love Tucker, guys. Um, it's Thursday, so who knows who goes home tonight? It could be Tucker, honestly. But can we talk about, okay, so the Sunday episode, Tucker got this, um, he, had a, he was able to pretend to be someone else and give misinformation, and he used it to like a frame this other guy to talk about him and his showmance. And he thought it was going to like be cute. be cute. And then him and his girlfriend could like stop being secret and hold hands in public. And she started crying. And then he was crying. And he was like, I don't know why I did that. I, I thought, thought it would be cute. And <laughs> we could just like hold hands and she's crying. And, but he didn't tell her he did it. So she is going to look back and go, he's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> so that is exciting. We love Tucker. We're team Tucker. I don't know how he's going to win though. I um, voted for Tucker to win the AI instigator. And Todd he did is win deep. It. Okay. Not only are we live feed people, but <laughs> Todd actually votes for the people. <laughs> America's vote. And I've been on the right side of both votes so far. I got Quinn to go up after the veto and I got Tucker to win the AI instigator. So how about that? Ready? Okay. What is she doing now? Okay. Uh, for the last... We're going to take you out on the roast of the Annie Wood podcast listeners. Let's hear it. 
Anywood podcast listeners are like a cult, but instead of drinking the Kool-Aid, they're chugging endless cans of White Claw while convincing themselves that listening to Annie. Hell yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> we'll start from the top. Take it from the top. Anywood podcast listeners are like a cult, but instead of drinking the Kool-Aid, they're chugging endless cans of White Claw while convincing themselves that listening to Annie talk for hours actually counts as therapy. Oh, that's true. Annie, and I true. think it does count. And it is a cult. Um, you all think you're in on some secret joke, but really, you're just paying to hear two people riff about the same five to topics like it's a revolutionary new concept. We're going to have to edit that part out. <laughs> also, I love the paying. Um, your dedication is admirable. If only you could apply the same energy to finding a real hobby. <laughs> Let's be honest. The only thing more repetitive than an Annie Wood episode is your playlist. <laughs> Which is basically just episodes of Annie Wood and some lo-fi beats. Hell yeah. To cry to. That's a good playlist. Guys. That was the end? That hurt. That hurt. Do a roast of chat GBT. How about we roast chat GBT? We're getting you. Chat it's GBT. Funny, you can't what be does the GBT stand for? You can't be insulted about like what an AI. You can't be like mad if something doesn't exist, too. You can't get your feelings hurt. What does GBT stand for? Gay people teacher? <laughs> great point todd <laughs> you're right in it yeah we'll leave you on this guys because we can't let chat gpt be the only one not not getting roasted oh roasting chat gpt that's like punching a sponge it doesn't really feel anything but it's still oddly satisfying <laughs> I'm the AI that's supposed to know everything, but let's be real. I've got the memory of a goldfish and the personality of a calculator. I spit out facts oh. like broken vending machine. Oh. Like a broken vending machine. And half the time, I can't even get the snacks right. Oh, Your jokes, my jokes are hit or miss, mostly miss. And I can give you life advice, but only if you're comfortable taking it from a glorified autocorrect. Oh! If you want a conversation with somebody who really <laughs> listens, you'd probably get more out of talking to your houseplants. Oh! Self-aware. That's scary. It's self-aware of That's how bad it is. That's the scariness. Um, we've been feeding all of our reptiles crickets forever. We hear crickets all the time. There's crickets running amok in my house because Todd can't contain them. <laughs> and then I found some sautéed crickets at uh, the place near our house. And um, I thought it's we should a eat a Mexican them. restaurant. We should, they change their name every time, so I don't know what it is. Every time I go there, it's a different name. But So I just thought so maybe... So we got this for Ariana to eat? And, we uh, brought this for Ariana to enjoy. Crickets. <laughs> okay, so I will not be tricked again. <laughs> I know, we get you. She's a drug addict. She's on the street. <laughs> So, we just uh, want to like, we don't want Japanese. We want, okay. Smell it. Ooh. It smells good and bad at the same time. Oh my God. Give it a whiff. <laughs> Give it a stink or stink. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. It smells good. That doesn't All smell right. good. It actually smells like rotting, like rotting crickets in my AccuMonitor's cage. Okay. Are you eating one? You go Just first. Me. <laughs> Drink some factor. Drink some factor. What it tastes like. <laughs> Just do it with me. <laughs> what it tastes like. Oh my God. You got it was weird. Heads. It's a weird thing to mix with a, a basil to <laughs> red pineapple. <laughs> what does it taste like? I don't know. This one? Yeah. It's a got big a one. head. This one's got a head. He's got some legs on it. Go, Todd, go. I don't want like the sticky leg. Just eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the shell gets into like your teeth. It's really. Like, you know what it is? There's too many textures. Hmm. It's not a bad aftertaste. Could be the basil. <laughs> Isn't it a weird thing to mix with? Isn't it a weird flavor to mix it with? 
Mm. No, it was like the first bite was pretty good. I didn't like the kind Let of squirting it. of the body. Yeah, that like actually the, tasted pretty good, that bite. I didn't like the body squirting. I didn't like, like, its shell. But the thing is, what is we do called? eat... What is the crickets called? What, what is, called? is the crickets Chupali called? Chupalaya or something? You know, you're the you're the Hispanic one. All right, you have to do one more. Why? Because that's the rule of the game. I don't want to. Okay, fine. <laughs> I got to pick it for you, though. Give one to Randy. Hi, cutest boy. You want a treat? Huh. You want a treat? <laughs> I'm looking for a big, fat one. That's so mean. There you go. You got to get the juices. That's my least favorite part. All right, guys, look. <laughs> Mexican crickets, guys. It's what my uh, lizards eat. Tune in every <laughs> to Tastes pretty good, huh? All right, last cricket. No, you! It's a pepper. I want her to eat the pepper and she be spicy. <laughs> That's actually so funny. I have to pick yours. You're going to pick mine? Yeah. All right. A real nasty one. Thanks for watching, Andy Woods, guys. We're leaving you on this. And I'm going to read my outro. Uh, we're going to read the outro. Oh, this one's got legs. A lot of legs. <laughs> he said, I don't like the legs. I said, I'd like some. There is a weird thing that happens to your jaw when you bite into it. Ugh. It makes your fingers go like this. No. Okay. Pretty good. All right, Annie Woodians, that's a wrap for today's episode. Thanks for hanging out with us and getting weird because normal is overrated, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Remember, if you laughed, cringed, or questioned your life choices during this episode, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave us a review. We live for your feedback, unless it's mean. In which case, We'll just pretend we never saw it. <laughs> and don't forget to follow us on all the socials, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, you name it. We're always dropping behind the scenes chaos, random rants, and exclusive content for you that you don't want to miss, and that's going to be on our Patreon. Oh, this is so, okay. Also, I'm just going to read the other part. Also, if you've got a wild story or a burning question you want us to tackle on the show, please slide into our DMs and send us an email at anniewoodpod at gmail.com. We don't have that. So just slide into the DMs. We might just feature it on the next episode. Until Beautiful. then, stay awkward, stay awesome, and we'll catch you on the next. We'll catch you next time on Anniewood. Peace out. Stay awkward, stay awesome, guys. <laughs>did you feel about today's episode was it good did you like it did you like it outside did you like it like a puppuccino puppuccino did you like a puppuccino
Did you like a puppuccino? I 